What the fuck kind of shit is this? For one second, take it out of your mind that it's Holly Berry and just put this on a fucking scale. A man just came out publicly and said that he was sexually assaulted. Why is this not being respected? Because it's a lie? How do you know it's a lie? It, how can you immediately dispel what the fuck this dude is saying, but every time a bitch come out and say anything, it's over. You lose it. Ayo Canseco, fearless leader of Ayo Nation, and this is Are you fucking serious? As in the Men Too movement pushes forward. Um, for those who don't know if you're new to the channel, and another thing, for you motherfuckers that's new to the channel, don't ask me when I'm dropping another video. You have a whole fucking archive of videos that you need to watch so you can be up to date with what's going on. If you just come to this channel, whatever like that, you may not know what the fuck is going on. You may not know that I started the Men Too movement. You may not know what the three S's are. If you don't understand the way I'm rocking, you know what I'm saying? Don't ask me, you know what I'm saying? What the, you don't watch one video and then say, first of all, you're not AO Nation and you, know, you should know how to get an AO Nation, you know what I'm saying? Don't watch one fucking video and then contact me. Get to know what the fuck is going on before you start, before you say anything to me. Because you're going to get cussed the fuck out. And probably might get blocked. I just want to say that because I got a lot of motherfuckers just coming on saying I appreciate your interest in this shit like that. But this ain't just no goddamn YouTube series or no shit like that. This is an actual real fucking thing. Like this, like I'm really, I'm, I'm really coming to see you in real life. Not one of these internet niggas. But that's what today's episode is about. You know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers not knowing what the fuck is going on. Uh, fuck around playing. Um, Holly Berry just got accused of fucking, uh, she, she's been, she has a fucking accuser. There's allegations saying that she fucking sexually assaulted a, a, a male at a party. And I'm, I'm looking at this situation trying to see if it will be taken seriously. Because this is, I hate that it's Holly Berry, of course, but I hated that it was Bill Cosby. You know what I'm saying? Um, of course, they would bring a, a black woman first to the forefront and shit like that. But... You know, you might get Leslie Jones get brought to the forefront. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, Gabby Sidibe, the girl who played Precious and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Brought to the forefront. Uh, Jennifer Hudson. You know, it's just a, a Monique. You know what I'm saying? A, a group of motherfuckers that, that, that I can see them bringing to the forefront saying that they sexually assaulted a motherfucker. But for a motherfucker to say that Holly Berry, um, what, what the accuser said was they were at a party. Hey, yo, Nation, look, the second stop in the Big Face Podcast Alabama tour is going to be Tuskegee, Alabama. On October 6th, I will be on Highway 29 at Macon Motel. From Twitter, to I'm be out there holding the giveaways. Just really making it understood that I'm not the internet niggas. Um, I really talk minds outside. You know what I'm saying? If you want to get your uniform before the date, you already know where to go. Hit the link. Your shirt's going for 20 Your snapback's going for 25 Um... Also, remember that if you want to donate and shit like that, it's a whole different PayPal. But that PayPal is always in the description box. You know what I'm saying? Um, all my rap niggas, I told y'all at the end of September, I'm going to open the gates back up and we're going to start promoting again. 
You have to have at least a $200 budget. Prices start at $200. If you do not have $200, do not contact me. If you hit me up talking that business shit and that fucking talk don't end no more fucking transaction, my nigga, you blocked, period. If you don't have $200, this goes for business owners. If you have a product that you want me to promote on the show, you're fucking me up. <laughs> and you don't got $200, man, don't fuck up our relationship like that because I'm going to block you. You know what I'm saying? $200... Just like that. Just simple. Party. Um, he knocked the drink out of Holly Berry's hand. And um, he apologized. She grabbed his dick and said, that's not how you apologize to me. This is how you apologize to me. Um, he declined to fuck Holly Berry. And then Holly Berry said, and she kept persisting and shit like that. Um, and he finally was able to escape. But what about the people who weren't able to escape? That was his fucking, he made that, you know what I'm saying, statement and shit like that. And I'm just looking at it, man. I'm trying to see, of course, it, Holly Berry came back saying, I don't know you and shit like that. Um, the fuck, you know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers on the internet is crazy and all that shit like that. But the thing of it is, this is what I'm telling you. By their motherfucking standards, there's no way that a male can be sexually assaulted. If a male is, if he's, if a, if a bitch fuck with a nigga in a sexual way, he should enjoy it and appreciate it. You know what I'm saying? Don't be motherfucking um, ungrateful. You know what I'm saying? Be grateful that a bitch want to fuck you. No matter if you're married, celibate, um religious, you know what I'm saying? No matter what the fuck you got going on, be proud that a bitch wants to fuck you. You know what I'm saying? Be proud that a bitch is treating you like a fucking slave. As if we're on an Amazonian planet. As I told you guys, Amazon bitches, if you don't know what an Amazonian planet is, is, is Amazon was a place where like real big bitches and shit like that like real tall hoes, and then they had like male sex slaves. You know, you got motherfuckers, they make fetishes and sex videos out of this shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, you'll love to be there, like be on a planet to where there's a whole bunch of big ass hoes and your only job is to fuck them. That's for a motherfucker that don't know shit. If you a nigga that fuck hoes and shit like that, if you got hoes, you understand how much of a job it becomes to fuck hoes. Like, at one time, I think my biggest rotation that I had, I think, was five holes. And you have times where you would have to fuck. I wouldn't. All five. I, you know what I'm saying? This is what I do. I've been on this shit right here. So I talk a bitch to sleep. You know what I'm saying? Like, I talk a hoe to sleep. But you have times. The most I ever had to do, I think, was two holes. You know what I'm saying? In one night. You know what I'm saying? I'm not, a hoe ain't finna goddamn slave me for shit. Like, bitch, I'm not going for it. Never have went for that shit. But some motherfuckers feel like they'll like that shit, but that's motherfuckers who ain't never had it. Like, you know what I'm saying? A hoe thinking that she can just, you know what I'm saying, do whatever, whenever. That shit just can't, that shit is really natural. It, it's really natural to, to a nigga that got hoes. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, a hoe feel like, yeah, that's my dick, whatever like that, y'all the fucking y'all, but motherfuckers don't understand how serious that shit get at the house, man. You stay with a hoe, and this hoe in her mind, she think you cheating and shit like that, and the way that a hoe feel like she can tell if you been cheating, I, I, first of all, a hoe always gonna say you cheating. She always think you cheating. But uh, the way that she say that she can tell, this is how she beg for dick. You know what I'm saying? I'll make you feel sorry. Or, you know what I'm saying? Whine for dick. Uh, why you don't want to fuck? You, must, you can fuck them other hoes. You must be fucking, you gotta be fucking somebody. Like, hold the fuck on, bitch. But that's, that's what I'm trying to tell you, though. You know what I'm saying? You don't have these issues until you get deep into the relationship. And this is the whole reason why I'm telling you niggas to follow the three S's. You know what I'm saying? To be a part of the Men Too movement. You know what I'm saying? Because all of my real niggas know that a bitch will make you fuck her. You know what I'm saying? There, you don't have no private parts. You know what I'm saying? In no fucking relationship. I'm not the only one who has been, you know what I'm saying, sexually assaulted many fucking times. And by their fucking standard, 
I'm gonna talk about that shit too. I'm gonna talk about that shit too. But I gotta make that whole nother video because it's a bitch on this motherfucker. It's a bitch on this motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna find that shit, but it's a bitch explaining what the fuck rape is. They put this whole on world star. What a coincidence. This whole saying, if this nigga seven strokes in and I say stop, it's rape. And I feel that. Because that's right. That, 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 that's, that's right like a motherfucker. That is rape. But that's not what we arguing, bitch. And this is... This is why I tell you motherfuckers also, if a bitch, if you're with a bitch, you're in a relationship, and you actually want to fix this shit, start recording her whenever the fuck she start that bullshit. And when that argument start, like, all right, let's go ahead. And, so what's going on? What are you saying? Why the fuck you record me? You know what I'm saying? Do your thing. Record the shit. Because for one, if you want to save the relationship, once she cools down and the argument is over, you can show her what she's like when she gets mad because you understand that that bitch is an evil bitch. And most of the times, I'm going to tell you something. If you, two things, if you can't find a time where y'all on good terms to show her the video and say, hey, we need to watch this and see what, 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 why we bumping heads. What was the, the um, what's our issue? And also I want you to see, you know what I'm saying, how, you know what I'm saying, you look and how you act and how, you know what I'm saying, how this is affecting me. Maybe you don't understand how you look and how it sounds when you be mad and shit like that. If she won't, first off, if you can't find, if you don't, if the relationship is just so rocky, there are no goddamn subtle, easy times to where you even have time to show it because you have to show it within a time of peace. In a relationship, there are times of war and times of peace. In your relationship right now, you're probably at war every fucking day. There probably is no times of peace. You know what I'm saying? Y'all are fussing every day. The relationship is over, my nigga. It's over. Y'all are fussing and fighting every fucking day. The relationship is over. Y'all are only there because of uh, it's a learned habit. You know what I'm saying? That's the only reason y'all still together. Y'all are fussing every fucking day. It's over. That's one thing. If you can't find no goddamn smooth time to show the video, then leave. Two. If she won't watch the motherfucking, I don't want to see that goddamn shit. What the fuck? Why, why every time? See, what the fuck I be saying? You know what the fuck I be saying? Every time I'm trying to, you always want to start some shit. Hold on, bitch. Hold on, bitch. I'm trying to avoid, I'm trying to be proactive in our next argument. But as I speak to my nigga about it, Go look at Big Body's channel too. Go on YouTube. Go to Big Body's channel. This is a rapper out of um, Louisiana. Just real fucking music. But I'm telling him like, bitches aren't going to listen and these hoes aren't going to learn. You have to have a solid foundation to build on. If the bitch doesn't have a mind, you know what I'm saying? She has kids. You know what I'm saying? She already has a drug habit and shit like that. If she has either one of these things and she is difficult, she's still difficult to deal with, there's no reason for you to go down that road and even try to fuck with that motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? You're wasting your time. You're merely wasting your time. It's not going to work out. She's not going to change. The same way a host say, a nigga ain't gonna change, he gonna still fuck hoes. These hoes with their negative attitudes, understand now, these bitches with that negativity that they bring on a daily basis, and if they say that you're the reason why they're negative, then get the fuck away from the hoe. Because if that's what's making her negative, you're never gonna get her, to, you're never gonna see the smiling, happy person. She needs something totally new, and hopefully she'll change. But these are the things that going to you getting arrested for rape. The Men Too movement is about men getting the same fucking rights as bitches get when it comes to
respect police respecting a nigga saying Holly Berry just fucking sexually assaulted me. Now do her like you do me. Go arrest her and ask questions later. If a nigga says, if a bitch says, I was at a party and this fucking dude just fucking came up and just, I, I knocked the drink out of his hand and I tried to say sorry and he just fucking started trying to finger me and uh, he's like, this is how you apologize. I'm like, no, no, no. But he just kept persisting. I escaped, but what about the people who didn't escape? That motherfucker, before he's arrested, he's going to lose every motherfucking thing that he's worked for. I do not like the fact that this is Holly Berry on the table, but it's not about OJ, it's not about Bill Cosby, and it's not about Holly Berry. It's about the fucking point. We have so many fucking issues in this situation that a motherfucker don't know where to start. It's a fucking black, it's a racial issue, obviously. The only, only the black folks are going to jail. But on the front line, though, why in the fuck is it okay to destroy a motherfucking man's life knowing that hell has no fury like a woman scorned? Why give them this new fucking weapon to go in their arsenal? And how can you be so blatantly unfair? Is this not a sexist fucking law? No pun intended. Is it not sexist to only respect sexual abuse accusers that are female? Are you, are you a, is this what, is this what this is meant for? To, to, to cause chaos? It kind of makes you want to believe that maybe, for my conspiracy theorists, the, uh, the elite Illuminati are fucking females. They're fucking girls. Think about that a little bit. You know what I'm saying? What the fuck kind of shit is this? For one second, take it out of your mind that it's Holly Berry and just put this on a fucking scale. A man just came out publicly and said that he was sexually assaulted. Why is this not being respected? Because it's a lie? How do you know it's a lie? It, how can you immediately dispel what the fuck this dude is saying, but every time a bitch come out and say anything, it's over. You lose your Disney deal, you lose your Nike deal, you lose every fucking thing. The sample, and I mean, and how can no one else see the dangers of this? I hate I hate that it was Holly Berry, but something got to move on this end. If you don't see the fucking dangers of a bitch being able to say something, say something with no fucking evidence. And destroy everything. That is a stigma that will never fucking leave you. How in the fuck do you use your own discernment about who you believe and who you don't believe? I'm talking male or female. If the accuser is a female, how are you going to tell her that her story is not viable? This is what I'm saying. That Why in the fuck would you even open this goddamn Pandora's box? It doesn't, it doesn't work. You can't respect these hoes word, but not these hoes word, which means you also have to respect these men's word. A motherfucker just said they were sexually assaulted by one of the most beautiful women on the planet and no one lifts a finger. 
But a bitch can say that one of the richest or most attractive men on the planet, a nothing ass bitch can say this. A nothing bitch can say this. That he did in it, he made her feel, he looked at her the wrong way, and the world goes up in flames. Never does a motherfucker question whether or not she's telling the truth. If a motherfucker, do you understand that if a bitch came out and said that Barack Obama, while he was in college, grabbed her ass, he was drunk one time, that's where we're going. Grabbed her ass, it was unwanted, and she just now has the courage to come out. Motherfuckers uh, uh, shout it down, shout it down, but the Me Too movement would pick that shit up and make motherfuckers seriously consider that whole thing. Who is safe from a fucking accusation based organization that has the power to destroy your reputation in every deal that you have. They can totally alienate, alienate you from every fucking body. Russell Simmons had to fucking go to Africa, some shit like that. Just pack up and leave. How in the fuck? And then, you know, you got bitches. It's, it's not, and, and of course, you know, all hoes ain't on this type of shit. But even the bitches that are in the Me Too movement, I ask you, do you have children? Do you have a boy child? If your boy, if your son was accused by one of these nothing ass hoes, would you still be in the Me Too movement? Would you attack her, would attack him and embrace her? With the same vigor that you're doing everyone else. This feminism run amok. And, and, and it's just hard to put your, your mind around because it's like, how the fuck is this actually happening? There's, there's no fucking way that nobody can see what the fuck is going on here. Somebody, like, somebody knows, like, how is this happening? How is this happening? There's, you can't have evidence. You can't, there's no, there's no evidence. There's no evidence. There we go. This shit can ha like this. There's no statute of limitation. How fucking old was it? And I, I, it's racial, but everything is racial. Everything is fucking racial. We understand. I'm past that whole, ah, oh, man, these white folk doing as bad. We understand that already. We understand that already. And I've given you ways. The three S's and a 30 day fast on crime. First to start everything. Before everything. Right now, we have to pull back and look at what the fuck is going on. We have to step away from everything and look at what the fuck is going on. If we allow this Me Too movement to push forward without any pushback from us, what the fuck is going to come next? I cannot be the only one to see the dangers of this shit. A bitch can say whatever the fuck she want to say and destroy someone's career. Simply because, and what if the fuck she was? Like, all right, so all she has to do is be within the vicinity of him. Not even be in a relationship, but what if she was? What if a bitch was in a relationship with a motherfucker? He cheated on her. Now he blew the fuck up. She waited on him to blow the fuck up to say, you know what, he did rape me. You don't have to have any proof but to be, that's what I'm saying. How do you vet a motherfucker? We were in a relationship. I cheated on her with her fucking sister, her mama, uh, everybody in the neighborhood. That whole mad as fuck. And I had took, you know what I'm saying, about a thousand dollars out of her account. That whole mad as fuck. Now, five years later, she can say that you raped her. That's wrong. That's wrong with a motherfucker. Cheating and taking money out of account, that's wrong as fuck.
but a motherfucker didn't rape her. A motherfucker didn't rape her. So how does that make um how 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 can you stand behind someone that you don't know? Do you feel like you have a victim consciousness? I can tell a true victim when I see them. So she can't be a master manipulator. She's a true victim. And you can tell because you know. Because you light incense and, and you meditate. So a motherfucker that's done nothing but work since he left that bitch. Changed his whole life up. Fuck that. This is the purpose of the Man 2 movement. In the Man 2 movement, we are going to band together. Uh, I, I don't really, I'm not really with that writing petition shit because I'm writing, like, you know what I'm saying? I'm writing to the same system that is oppressing. Like, why in the fuck would I write them? Why in the fuck would they change the shit that they like? You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? It's like, it's like, a motherfucker going to a store, whatever like that, and he's saying, I want to speak to the manager, and them saying, I am the manager. You're going to go on ride then. You know what I'm saying? Because I, I can't win here. There's no win. But if we have to play their game to confuse this system, like a whole bunch of niggas accuse a whole bunch of bitches of the same shit and just show this shit outwardly how fucked up it is and I think this is what this dude is doing he's just taking the first step in the me and two movement which is even the playing field respect my word the same way you respect they word here's a here's a motherfucker saying some unbelievable shit but I said it so you should believe it that's the only way because now you un, do you understand now how fucking ridiculous this shit sounds. You came to my room. You knew we were going to fuck. Prostitutes call rape every fucking day because a motherfucker don't pay them. And police officers know the fucking difference. The problem is here is the Me Too movement because... Even if they're not criminally charged, unless they're black. If you're black, you will be criminally charged. But even when they're not criminally charged, on some civil shit, they'll boycott anyone who pays you. So if you have an HBO deal, NFL, anything, they're going to boycott them. So because these... Corporations are trying to do their own type of manipulation. They're gonna excommunicate themselves. You know what I'm saying? You're expendable. Fuck you. We can have a million of you. Whatever the fuck it is, entertainment, sports, whatever the fuck it is. Because they have real rape victims, and and for the real rape victims, I say. Is this what you, you know what I'm saying? Like, do you not see how this could increase the number of rapes that take place? Because now, it's the same, it's the same shit I'm saying about niggas that's playing in the street and shit like that. Like, a nigga can actually be in the wrong, but say that the police is dirty. Look what they did to Mike Brown. Look what they did to every other nigga they shot. These motherfuckers are dirty. When actually he was the one that was in the wrong. So now you got a true rapist and he's saying that Me Too movement is just trying to, she's lying. She just trying to, you know what I'm saying? Real celebrities that really rape bitches, that really did take advantage of motherfuckers, can now not be heard. Now they're looked at like, you lying ass bitch. 
Didn't we learn this a long time ago? Like, cry, what, what happens when you cry wolf? We learned this, right? Me and two movement, if you are seriously wanting to be a part of that, then get in my inbox and I'll, I'll let you know what the fuck we're going to do moving forward. Big Facts Podcast. I am L. Conseco, fearless leader of AO Nation. Hit the PayPal. See y'all in a minute. Love.